It just worked. I seriously just unlocked my iPhone with a face mask on. It worked with this one too. I can't believe it. I didn't think this video was going to work. I swear. I did not think that this video was going to work. See in the editing room here. Um, I forgot to tell you that in the description of this video, there's two things. There's the description or the instructions on how to do this from 9 to 5 Mac that I used to get this to work. And then uh, also I have my Amazon affiliate links down there. So if you want to help support the channel, just click on any of them. And if you make a purchase on Amazon, any purchase in the next 30 days, I'll get some kickback from that. You don't have to buy the things that I linked down there. Just sort of click on it. And, you know, if, you, if I get credit for that down the road, cool. Otherwise, subscribe, comment, all the other ways to engage in, with the channel. Let me know that, that you like this sort of content. So I've been trying to figure out if I want to buy the new iPhone 12 Max Pro, Pro Max, Max Pro, whatever. I can't get past this like one issue where they didn't include Touch ID back in the phone in the power button. All the other functionality of the iPhone is just like sold short because I can't unlock my phone when I'm out easily because I'm wearing a mask like this one. Like every time I go out. And since there's no, since there's no touch ID, I have to essentially pull my mask off to unlock my phone or do what I'd normally do, which is just type in the code. Everyone who has an iPhone who types in the code knows it fails like half the time. It's easy to mistype the numbers. A lot of times the screen misses one of the taps, so you only end up with five digits instead of six, and you don't know which one you missed, so you gotta start over, or you gotta punch in a sixth one knowing it's gonna be wrong just so it'll reset. iPhone users will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I've been struggling with this problem and not wanting to buy a new iPhone because all of the iPhones have this issue and it's gone unaddressed. There's so many ways Apple could address this. They could support you unlocking your phone with your mask on, which they don't do. They could change the face ID settings in a multitude of different ways to make it more friendly to this problem. As an example, right now, if you have face ID enabled, you can only set your phone to automatically lock in like one, two, three, or five minute increments. And after the five minute increment, it jumps to never automatically lock. So there's no like 10 minute increment, 30 minute increment, one hour increment. And for someone like me, I would like those settings. The fact of the matter is because I'm wearing a face mask more often, or I'm just in my house more often, I don't want my phone to lock every five minutes. Maybe I want it to lock every 10 minutes. So what ended up happening is I switched my iPhone 10 to the never lock setting. So I was manually locking the phone all the time because this became such an issue. Well, that led to the first time ever I, I got screen burning on my phone. Like it, my, the screen's ruined now because I must have left it on too long on a particular day and it got burned in. This is all a long way of saying there's very little options here and it's totally cramping my style. You wanna hang out? Here, come chill with me. So it turns out that that wasn't a good idea. And, oh, all right, see you later. Um, and there really wasn't any other good ideas. Like there's no way to resolve this, but I did find one glimmer of hope, which is um, online people are talking about being able to get your phone to unlock while wearing a mask through this hack. And I, I figured I would try it and make a video and I, I doubt it's going to work. And especially, I doubt it will work with one of these bigger masks that covers a lot of my face. My sweetheart. I'm gonna give it a shot and I'm gonna take you all along with me. So let's see how it goes. So first I'm gonna set my iPhone to see if I can get it to unlock with it, my everyday mask, which is pretty protective of my entire face. And if I don't get that one to work, I will try my brand new doctor's mask or however you wanna call this, but this is like the standard one that most people I feel like are wearing. So first step is to click on set up an alternate appearance. The next thing I'm gonna do is fold the mask in half and set up face ID covering the right side. 
if you're getting the face obstructed message, you're supposed to pull the mask a little bit away from your face like I'm doing here in the video. Okay, let's see if this works. No, no, I've had too many failed tries. So that does not work, even with it pulled below my nose. Let's try the doctor's mask. Tap number two, please work. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. No, that did not work. And let me try to pull it down a little bit. See if it makes any difference. No. Okay, so apparently I was already resetting Face ID completely. So this time I did set up an alternate Face ID and we'll see if that works. All right, let's try this out. Holy sh! It just worked! I seriously just unlocked my iPhone with a face mask on. I can't believe that. No way! All right, so it's asking me to swipe up. Oh, it just did it again. It just did it again while I was while I was typing in my code. This is crazy. I can't believe I got this to work. So that didn't work, not with this one. It worked with this one too! I can't believe it. I didn't think this video was gonna work. I swear, I did not think that this video was gonna work. Oh, it's gonna save me so much time. Yes. Um, cool. Good video. I accidentally forgot to show you the phone unlocking. It's kind of hard to film. Um, but I wanted to leave in that clip because I was so excited about it actually working. But now I'm going to show you that it does work. Phone is locked. Now it's unlocked. This mask I have found is maybe not quite as reliable. But it does work. So phone is locked right now. Now it's unlocked. We'll do one more just for good measure. Locked. That one failed. That one worked. So I was hesitant to get a new iPhone. I was just gonna hang tight and hang on to my iPhone 10 for a fourth year, even though this thing is on the its last leg. But I'm going to test the unlocking with my mask for a day or two and if it keeps working and it works even somewhat consistently, I will buy a new iPhone. This solves the problem. Like this actually solves the problem. I still would want Apple to add Touch ID back. I think I, a lot of iPhone users who have had Face ID for a long time now will know that Touch ID has a place in terms of like convenience and not having to lift your phone and angle it towards you. The, the, the sensitivity to the the timing and movement of the phone to get it right, and also the lighting, like the sun shining in your face can also mess with it. Touch ID still has a place, and I'm looking forward to next year or maybe the year after when Apple adds it back, please. But in the meantime, I, I'm actually satisfied enough with this hack that as long as it continues to work, I'm gonna buy the new iPhone. and. If it works for you, try it out. If it does work for you and you were in the same position as I was, maybe you'll get the new iPhone too. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if this solves a major issue for you or if this is not enough, which I guess I can understand as well. And subscribe to my channel if you like this video. All right, see y'all later.